Welcome to episode 5 of our new build. I'm standing here in the Audi graveyard and behind me we have what's left of the A5 front end. And here's what's left of the A5 rear end. Before we could get to cutting, we had to spend days, may I say days, taking out the wiring, making sure not to wreck any of it. Because we know we really need this harness in the build. So here we have it. The nightmare is over. We've gotten the dash and the wiring harness into one unit. It's been all labelled, all packed away, and all tidied up, ready to be used later. Keep it going, keep it going. Beautiful. All right, let's have a look. So, what's the plan now, Spence? Plan? Start cutting. So, the plan now is to cut these mounts out, uh, even this one, so that we can use that on the other chassis, save us a hell of a lot of work, save as much as we can. Now I just said I was gonna cut the suspension mounts out of the chassis. What was I thinking? After an hour I got that, I got that out. <laughs> so I got both of them out, mind you, but <laughs> epic fail, we won't be doing that. I've got this, I need it. It's the top of the spring. I'm gonna get the top of the shock mount out as well. But as for the actual mounts that mount it in, they are buried way too deep and are way too hard to get out. So, plan two, I'll just make them. It's not hard, it's easy. Quick explanation of what we're doing here. It's not rocket science, it's just string. Uh, string lines, tape measure, and plumb bob. Front wheel set up straight. We've got our wheelbase, it's 2600. Come on down here a little bit. Um, so we've got our center mark here uh, for the center of the rear axle. As you can see here, string comes down, plumb bob center. All I'm doing now, Pence, if you can shine the camera right in there, is setting up the top of the spring tower. So this is gonna, once we've cleaned it up, it's gonna weld in here. And again, as I just said before, not rocket science, it's just a case of centering our plumb bob to where the spring goes making a mark. So a quick mark up here for our center point. We then can bring our tower in. So we've got that basically lined up in the center as well. We've got to cut the chassis a little bit down here in order to make this fit. So this section of the chassis will come out because it's basically a hollow void behind there. So we'll cut the seam out That'll give us a good, strong, sturdy surface to cut to. It's amazing how we've, the shock almost lines up with the structural element of the, the front wheel drive. Our neighbour, Alan, has come to visit us. Now, Alan is the guy that gave us the A5 in the first place. As you can see, he's all right after his big roll, and uh, we just thought it would be nice to say thanks to Alan on film for letting us have the car create this monster. I knew Nick would be up for the challenge. Uh, it was a pretty big job because uh, the car was pretty crumpled but it needed to go to some home because there was plenty of good parts left on it. After four weeks on the Audi A5 build, we've cut the car in half, taken the front and the rear end and put it into the Audi 80. This doesn't just happen by coincidence. We've had lots of experience and it isn't our first build. If you follow me, I'll show you the re most recent addition. In front of me here is an Audi S1 E2. These cars used to be part of the Group B WRC and they were banned because they were too fast. We'd like to give a huge shout out to our supporter, Brenda from BJ Designs. From not only supporting us with this car, but she's gonna support us with the A5 build. There'll be more about the S1 in an upcoming episode.
Hi there, hope you're enjoying the episodes. We're having such a blast building this car, it's just insane. If you're having as much fun as we are, please like, subscribe and share.